For those that were paying attention to the allegations made by Cassie against Diddy, in one section of the civil lawsuit, she talks about Diddy hearing that Suge Knight was out for dinner allegedly and he went and grabbed a weapon and ran over there and was trying to go meet him and something and she was devastated and scared for her life. We know that the beef between Bad Boy and Death Row Records go back for about 20 years. Back to the 90s when an artist named Tupac Shakur, which many of us hold close to our heart if you're a big fan of hip hop, with another artist called Biggie Smalls, which in the East Coast a lot of us hold close to our heart. I know I'm far from the only one that really likes Biggie as he's, him and Tupac are held as the greatest rappers ever in hip hop. That's for you to debate or you to agree to. That's not why we're here. We are here because some of you might know Suge Knight started a podcast from prison and during the podcast he speaks about Diddy. I want to know what he had to say about Diddy or what he had to say about the situation. Was he shocked with all the allegations coming out? Or is this something that Suge might have heard about back in the day, in the 90s, being in similar position, similar power as Bad Boy and Diddy? Before we get into this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 10,000 subs, so make sure you sub up. Puffy done what Puffy did and what Puffy do. It's not a surprise. Everybody know what it is. Hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs has been accused of beating and sexually assaulting his ex-girlfriend and singer, Cassie. I mean, you got to, to be able to do that type of shit. It's crazy how he really got one of them cartoons, like the truth is one of them AIs to show Suge Knight still sitting there with the big Don red suit, but he's in prison, obviously, because he can't show his face for the podcast. That's fire. That's fire. I like what they did there. I like what they did there. And the name of his podcast is Collect Call Eye. We're going to have to look into that. To the woman and other women, but it's not new. It's not like it's uh, new news. Shit. Same time he beat the shit out of a motherfucking, uh, what's a little girl name, uh, Cassie or whatever. He had an assistant. By the name of Capricorn. He felt Capricorn. Cap was keeping his shit on a low about if she was messing with Cuddy or not. Puffy beat the shit. Yo, hold on. Let's protect Cuddy at all costs. You guys know Cuddy is real close to my heart. His music is real. Mm -hmm. Cuddy's held real close in my heart. Let's protect Cuddy at all costs. Who would have known that Cuddy had beef, murder beef behind the scenes over some vagina with Diddy? Like, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Shit out that bitch. <laughs> Now they do you beat the shit out of her. It was an Interscope person. The Interscope's check paid her to settle for he wouldn't go to jail. You heard of the golden rule, haven't you? Whoever has the gold makes the rules. So why would you share all this wonderful treasure with me? So, Collect Call is the podcast by Suge. I'm gonna go check out because I wanna hear more about this. But that was new information that I haven't heard anywhere that came out from Suge about Capricorn. This is all alleged. Again, this is all alleged. But that information that he said, that he said about Capricorn, knowing about Cassie and Cuddy, and then applying pressure, and then someone from Interscope cutting the check so Diddy doesn't go to jail for her to settle his crazy. And that answered my question right there when I said, was Suge shocked? Was this new information for Suge Knight? Like, nah, I knew he was into a lot of things, but stuff like this I didn't know about. Suge says none of this is new. This is regular. He been hearing about this in Diddy. I'm not shocked that Suge had nothing good to say about Diddy. Let me know down below if you believe Suge Knight. Do you think Suge is also the 15th artist to be lying? Once again, he's already in prison. I don't even know if he has any current beef with, with Diddy. I'm sure he has some animosity looking at his life and looking at Diddy's life and how they both ended up for sure. But the thing is, another person comes out, another person says something. Is he lying once again or is there some little truth to this how would he know about the cassie how would he know about capricorn how would he know about everything going on let's not also forget that suge knight was and is a powerful man in california he doesn't hold the same power he once did but i'm sure he had a lot of connections to people inside the circle to hear stories or hear a little bit of the gossip subscribe to the channel like the video we're on the road to 10,000 subs let me know down below do you guys think suge's capping or he's telling the truth i personally think i don't know if everything he's saying is the truth but there might be some truth sprinkled into that and we keep hearing kid cuddy's name coming up over and over and over and over and over so there has to be some truth to the channel like the video let me know any information that i might have missed did you check out anything else from collect call i know he went viral a couple weeks ago for saying something about akon i think akon said he about to sue i'm like nigga you about to get sued over the first episode that you have done in your podcast relax relax this man's now back talking about did let me know your thoughts about all this subscribe to the channel like the video we are